Hey guys, welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas and today in the video I will be showing you how to install a skill plate on a Africa Twin. I was using the heat skid plate and last season I did put some damage on it so I, I a little bit bend it up and it starts to show a little bit of rust and I had the skid plate for about two years and I figure I want to put something else. The only problem is that I have a heat bunker crash bars I should say and those crash bars are not too compatible with too many skid plates so what I was able to do I'm gonna try to modify the SW Motex skid plate so this is the SW Motex skid plate that I got but this side here it's kind of interfering so which is the left side it's interfering with my crash bars I'm hoping that I will be able to make some modification and put that on there so this is much more solid as you see it's much thicker grade aluminum the other skid plate was made out of uh, steel which is basically rusting uh, from the rocks and all the uh, and all the debris and uh, last year I hit a huge rock on the trail and I bent the skid plate quite bad and I was straightening it up as much as I could but still doesn't fit the way it should be so we'll try with this one so let's get to it and I'll show you how to fit that in on a bike First thing what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to remove the factory mounting points here in the front and then I'm gonna pull the factory grommets out and now in this place we're gonna install the supplied grommets that came with the SW Motec and they also supply different uh, screws here to mount the plate on. I will move the camera back and I'll show you how it's installed after. So this is how you just push them in from the top and they sit inside the rubber grommets here on both sides and there's a little notches that uh, the actual mounting tabs kind of coming pushing in and it fits, fits perfectly right there. So that's the first part we have to do and then we'll move on to the back but uh, we will also I will also remove this uh, cover right here because uh, SW Motec says that that has to be removed uh, for installation of the skid plate so we'll do that to remove this uh, cover it's a eight millimeter socket or you can use a Phillips screwdriver I prefer always socket if I can and uh, just have to loosen that up So that's the piece and I will clean the surface here. So next you have to remove this nut and push that screw or that bolt all the way back. I hope you're gonna be able to see that all right but that's what it is. This is 14 millimeter sock uh, wrench on both sides so once you get the nut you push the screw all the way back according to the SW Motec manual. So that's the next step. I have to cut the little notch in here to make it fit on the crash bar. So I'll do a little bit first and I'll see how much more do I need after that.
So next thing, you have to cut out your little templates and place them like this. And then you have to put in those rubber blocks in those sections. So they have, they are on a 3M tape. So basically they go like this. And then we'll do the top one after. So the next step was uh, using those templates I had to glue those things on there, they're on a 3M tape, but since it's quite cool in the garage, it's winter still, I had to use a heat gun to heat up the whole skid plate inside here and then place those and make sure that they have a good adhesion. So the next step will be putting those little, I don't know what you call that, but uh, there's a, like a little that goes into the channels here. So you basically they give you that little piece of plastic and you cut it in half and then line it in here. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to cut it to the size. All right, so that's the next step. And then we're gonna have to try to make it fit there. Line up the back, bring it to the top, and we'll try to grab it with the screws here. So next thing is to install this screw and it's got a little spacer in here. So that spacer has to go between the plate and the uh, opening here. I don't have the best light in here, sorry. It's kind of hard. And um, there was no other videos about the installation of this, uh, of this skid plate on the Africa Twin. So hopefully it's gonna be useful to some of you. So all I, I have all those bolts still loose. They're none, none of them is tight. Just want to make it fit first. Okay, and the last thing is this bolt right there. So I have to get on the other side. I'm not gonna be able to show you exactly how, because it's too tight to put a camera in there. But basically, that you're just gonna have to slide that screw back in there and go through the opening on a skid plate and put that nut on there with uh, 14 millimeter wrenches. Gonna try to get the camera here. They give you that little opening here that you are able to put the wrench and tight that screw. And what's cool about this skid plate, you have access to the drain bolts right there. So you can drain the oil. So basically at this point, I'm just gonna have to tie those up and the other bolt on the other side. So that's uh, 13 millimeters. And then the last thing is this five millimeter Allen nut that was supplied with the skid plate. Tied this one up. So as you see, I had to make a little notch in here with the grinder. I nicely rounded off the edges and shortened this lip here. It does not really take uh, too much time, but it actually fits beautifully. And uh, 
the heat crash bars are not affecting anything. And so the protection is very nice here. What you can see, it covers the engine quite a bit here and the aluminum quality of this and the welds are awesome. I'll get on the other side, I'll show you how that looks on the other side as well. So this is how it looks uh, on the other side. And the reason why they told you to take that off because that would be a very tight squeeze if you had that uh, factory protection on there. So that makes it um, perfect fit this way. Uh, this section here, I wouldn't say that looks great, but it's not a big deal because it, it is covered still completely. It just looks a little latches, so from the, from the mounting the front part of the manifold. So this is the SW Motec skid plate, uh, slightly modified, and it fits with the heat bunker crush bars. So beautiful protection, solid. I like it. The job is complete. I look like a mess because I have to crawl under. I don't have a motorcycle lift. I have to do everything on the floor, old school way. And it's uh, quite cool uh, in a garage, but mission accomplished. I'm happy with the final result. So if you are wondering what skid plate can go with those bars, this is it. Uh, you can just modify it and it will fit perfectly. If you compare the thickness of this one, it's super thin. This one is about two millimeters thickness. Comparing to this one, it's like five millimeter thick, solid, and this is steel. So this is where I got it all ripped. So thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. Comment down below as always. Subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. I still gonna get the protection for my center stand from SW Motec. I will install that uh, probably tomorrow uh, once I pick it up. Uh, it's on a back order. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Cheers.